Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to go over my top 5 tools in Axie Infinity. So these tools help me buy, sell, and breed Axies, as well as manage the scholars in the game. So my first tool is Freak's Axie Extension. And this is a Chrome extension that is great for breeding and buying axes. It's also useful for finding the price of specific axes. This is how the axie marketplace looks without the extension. You have all your axes listed out. You have the number of the axie and the breed count. You have a picture of the axie and then a price in ETH. Now we have the same marketplace page with the extension installed. As you can see, the big difference is that instead of the breed count too here, we have all this information instead so breed count gets replaced by this eggplant and we also have the hit point the scale the morale and the purity so for this example here this beast has zero purity that means it has no beast genes in any of the dominant recessive one or recessive two genes and also has no beast parts and an easy way to see this is to hover over this and the genes come up so as you can see this beast has three plant parts, two beast parts, and an aqua part. It also has a bunch of plant, bug, and aqua recessive one and recessive two genes. This is why it's a zero purity beast and likely why it's one of the floor axes. Another cool part of the extension that I didn't know until recently is that if you're in a single axie page, if you hover over the stats, then you see this same pop-up with the dominant recessive one and recessive two genes pop up. So my second favorite tool is the Axie.tech website and specifically the Axie pricing tool. This was recently redesigned with a new UI so everything looks slick. And if we go down here, Axie pricing is what we're looking for. So this tool is awesome for finding out how much your Axie is worth. All you have to do is punch in the ID of your Axie and hit calculate. And then it'll do its magic. It'll pull up a screen of your Axie and it'll tell you how many other Axies have the same traits here and what kind of badges it has. My favorite part is the current listings and the recent sales. And this gives me a great idea how, how much it's worth. They also have a recommended pricing option here, but I found that it's sometimes a little inaccurate. And I like to go into the actual current listings to see for myself. And if you click on this, link that says 16 other axes it'll bring you to a page with a marketplace that has the class selected the breed count and all the four parts that have cards attached to them so that would be the horns the mouth the back and the tail so as you can see there's 17 other axes with the same four parts as the one i'm interested in the lowest one is 0.1536 eth and the most expensive one is 1.2 eth so overall, this is a very great tool for finding what your Axie is worth and helps me price my Axies when I'm selling them. Moving on to tool number three, we have the Axie Infinity Scholar Tracker. So this is a must-have tool for any scholarship managers. For anyone that doesn't know, scholarship is when you rent out one of the Axies you have to someone and they'll play the account for you and you go into a profit sharing agreement with them. So this tool helps you track that profit and splits it up for you. What you do is when you first get in here, you enter in the Ronin address, the scholar's name, and then your share of it, and it'll automatically spit out the scholar's share. And once you do this, it'll create a table like I have here of my first nine. We call our scholars guppies in the Swordfish Guild. Link below if you want to check that out. Dish tart is really useful. So SLP is small love potion. That's what you earn in the game. Here we can see my guppies are killing it. They all have over 100 SLP per day. It also tells you how much they have unclaimed. It also tells you when the last claim was and when you can claim again on so you can keep everything in track. And the last thing it has is the manager's share and the scholar's share. So you can keep track of how much goes to you and how much goes to them. And this creates a simple way for you to track everything instead of doing all the math by hand or creating your own spreadsheet. Number four on our list is Notion. This is not an Axie specific tool. If you don't know what Notion is, it's a note-taking app. And the cool thing about it is the relational databases, which means you can link column from one database into another. So I use Notion in three ways. The first one is an Axie database. I have pictures of my Axies with their names, their number, and their type. So this, there's a gallery view. So these are all the Axies I currently have. Okay, and if I click on each one, it brings up their page. So I have the number, type, pureness, the breed count, where the parents come from, children if they have any, and then their picture. 
The cool thing about this is you can create different views with different filters and sorts. So these are all my current axes, so axes I have in my account. I also have scholar axes, which are all the axes I have with my different guppies. I also have my gallery, which you saw, and then sold axes. And I also have all axes and missing pictures, which is pretty much the same with different filters, but you get the point. So a second way I use Notion is to keep track of all the Axie accounts. So this is a great overall way of keeping track of my account. I have the MetaMask addresses and the Ronin addresses. So when I need to go in and do transactions, this information is right here. I also have the account email, so I have to track anything down. And I also have the Scholar using this. And why I like having the relations is that the Scholars could change, but then the account will remain the same. So then I could just remove the name of the scholar using it and replace it with the new scholar and I won't have to change any of this information. So this is the last way I use Notion for an Axie Infinity. So this is a database for all my guppies or scholars in the guild. So if I click on this, I know that this guppy is associated with this gup1 account. And if I click on this further, I have all the information associated with the account. So I know that what the Ronin is, what the MetaMask is, and also the email and password. So that's how I use Notion, just as a way of keeping track of everything. I love that I can use the relational database feature to group all of these three databases together and form one centralized system for keeping track of everything. The last tool that I like to use for Axie Infinity is Google Sheets. The first way I use Google Sheets is to have it as a converter for AXS and SLP to ETH and also to calculate breeding costs. I created a building cost matrix, which it's kind of a duplicate of the one you see from Max Brand or from LAMP from the Axie Infinity Discord. What I did was I took these tables and I had a breeding cost calculator. So let's say I wanted three eggs from each pair and I'm gonna make four of them, right? So then I'll have a total of 12 axes and total is going to cost me 7200 SLP and 48 AXX. That's equivalent to 0.667 ETH. So if I know I'm going to do this for my next breeding round, then it's going to cost me 0.667 ETH. So I have to make sure that I have enough from sales or just outside funds to cover that. Other little tool I have is conversion. So if you want to sell SLP, for example, you just claim that you got 5000 SLP. It's about 785 USD or about 0.352 ETH. So this quick little tools, this lets you come in the spreadsheet and do it instead of going to Uniswap or Binance and punching in these numbers. The second sheet I have is called my Axie Infinity Tracker. This is just a simple tracker that I have that has a day, how much SLP I earned that day and how much the time plates. I have my totals here. So I earned a total of 7,733 SLP over 3,038 minutes. That comes out to about 136 SLP per day with an average time of 57 minutes per day. Just for fun, I made some graphs with trend lines that show my SLP earned and my time played. You can see from the trend line, my time played has gone down significantly due to the fact that there were some server issues so I couldn't play, but also because I'm moving more towards breeding and management and less time in-game. SLP, this bike here was when I beat level 21 and got the 200 extra. As you can see, it's kind of fluctuating. Sometimes I finish daily quests, but sometimes I don't have time to do so. So the last one we have is called Axe Accounting and this is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a general ledger where I keep all my income and expenses for the game and it tracks my in-game balances for me. This tab is the general ledger where I keep a record of all the transactions that I made. The resulting tabs are just pivot tables and kind of manipulating this data into viewing what I want. If you look at Axie cells, it takes all the Axie cells and it breaks them down into the amount of cells that I made the marketplace fees and then the net is how much I receive. The next is the guppy earnings and distribution. So this is the scholar money that comes into me, how much I distribute out back to them. And then the net SLP is what I ultimately get for renting out my axes. Breeding costs, pretty self-explanatory. The next tab we have miscellaneous fees. So these are all the fees that I have to pay for gas pretty much. So Uniswap fees, deposit to Ronin, which all to MetaMask. The next tab is the PNL or profit and loss. This groups all the different tabs that you saw before together. So those were my top five tools in Axie Infinities. And just to recap, number one, we had Freaks Axie Extension. Number two, we have the Axie Tech Pricing Guide. Number three, we have the Axie scholarship tracker, number four, Notion, and all the different ways I use it. And at number five, we have Google Sheets, and I use this to keep track of all my numbers. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're curious about Axie Infinity and want to learn more, 
check out this video on breeding and hatching eggs.